Welcome back to Yahoo Finance. Well, as a record number of Americans continue to quit their jobs, there is a growing trend that's emerging. Rage quitting is becoming quite the rage, and employees are taking walking out on the job viral. But what's the motivation behind it all? Here to help us discuss is Mandy Woodruff Santos, Yahoo Finance contributor and co host of Brown Ambition Podcast. Mandy, thanks so much for being here. Uh, it's so fascinating. There must be a lot of pent up frustration for people to go to these extreme measures, right? And if I was a future employee for one of these applicants, I would think twice about hiring them. However, clearly they're going to these extreme lengths because they want to be heard. What is the motivation behind all of it? I think you're sort of seeing a perfect storm where not only are employers harder worked, burned out than ever having just come through, we're still in the middle of a pandemic and you can't forget these are human beings who have been through intense trauma these past couple of years. But it's also the fact that it's never been easier for everyone to find a microphone and a platform and a stage to air these grievances. So whereas maybe before it was a strongly worded email, now it's a TikTok viral video that's got 8 million views. And it's addicting to get that kind of feedback from your audience. I mean, people are loving these rage quitters. We're loving supporting them. We're loving seeing people stand up for themselves. It's that David and Goliath, you know, that that storyline that continues to resonate with people. Um, I really encourage folks to be empathetic to people who are quitting. Clearly, they have been through some stuff if they are going to take you know, go to these great links to to, you know, um, to assert themselves to their employer and say, you know what, I'm not going to stand for this and I quit. So I honestly would turn this from looking negatively upon the employees who are going out of their way to embarrass their employers and like take a step, a couple of steps back and ask ourselves what's going on with workers? Why aren't they feeling respected and how can we better train managers to handle employees? All right, Mandy. So let's say I'm, I'm going through this in my head. Um, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about it. I'm gaining the courage to rage quit or maybe just quit. But um, without making a spectacle of it, what should people be doing to prepare themselves before they quit or at least quit publicly? Absolutely. I would say if you're getting to the point where you are enraged and you are on you're at that breaking point where it's going to bubble over and you may snap, take a step back and try to focus on yourself first. So I really encourage workers, you know, don't let it get that bad. Don't become so disgruntled, so unhappy. There are actually steps that you can take um, to prevent that type of rage from bubbling over. The first and most important point I'll make is setting those boundaries at work in the first place. It has never been easier for people to slack you, to Zoom you. We're in touch with our employers, our, empl our colleagues all the time. And I think it's even more crucial these days for people to draw a very firm line in the sand between where they're willing to sacrifice their personal well-being for their work. And it may sound uncomfortable, but I don't think enough workers are doing this. They're not setting clear boundaries. I will not be responding to emails after 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you very much. Those are going to go, you know, directly in my top of inbox for the morning. Setting those clear boundaries is how you're going to let people know where your limits are and let them know that you demand respect for your schedule and your time as well. If that sounds terrifying to you, um, and it may sound terrifying to a lot of workers out there, or they may find that they've tried to set those boundaries and they have been dismissed, you know, they have not been taken seriously. I think if you have put your best foot forward, you've tried to set your boundaries, you've tried to give feedback to your manager on how you like to be managed. And the response is, oh, we don't care about that, or, you know, well, that's not that's not good for business. Then I think it's time for you to be coming up with your plan B. Where are you gonna go next? Forget trying to rub it in their faces that they've lost you. What's your next career move and where are you going to go? And luckily, you're in quite a good position given the fact that employer employers have never been hiring the way they've been hiring lately, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know what? All good advice there. And hopefully, employees don't get to the point where they feel they need to do this because if it's on social media, it's there forever, right? And it may come back to bite you. So be careful is, I guess, the best advice before you sort of think about doing something like this. Thank you so much, Mandy Woodruff Santos, Yahoo Finance contributor and co host of Brown Ambition Podcast. We will take a quick break. And despite a tech hangover the last couple of sessions, many analysts are still bullish on Apple. Why so much love for the tech titan? Find out after a quick break. 